We go with Stairs Hurdle. We go to fucking Stairs Hurdle. Mm. It's going to be a great race this year. God. So I jokingly said that the Ryanair was potentially one of two feature the races. The best race of the festival is the Stairs Hurdle. No, it's not. The Queen Mother Champion Chase is the best. No, race. it's not. Stairs Hurdle, Daryl Carter, and Jamie Ryan will totally agree in this race. It's CH AMP. I haven't even introduced it yet, and you've given a dud tip. Right, it's the Stairs Hurdle for the Thursday. The beauty of this race this year is, like, again, I've, I love the Stairs Hurdle division, even as novice hurdlers. We all talk about the fact that it's the like the fourth tier of National Hunt Racing, but it's a race of like a renewal like this year that like, is really exciting. Like Jamie's even quoted there, it could be the race of the festival. I'm really excited about it. And also from an Annie Post perspective, this is one that I'm actually really glad I'm not invested in before because sometimes you could be swayed just because you get stuck into something at a certain point. I'm happy to leave things and wait. So my take on the stairs hurdle, I will say for the very end of it, Jamie's already alluded to one that he likes in here. Daryl, I cannot start in a race that's got champ in it and not start with you. So twofold with champ. One, do you think they will definitely go to the stairs hurdle? So like yes or no on that. And then secondly, I mean, if they're going to go to the stairs hurdle, does Champ win it? Okay, no, no, I don't think they definitely go. The reason being because of his age and connections one up with Shantry House, you know, whatever they could go to the gold cup. Should they? Yes, my goodness me, yes, they should. Um, it's working out to be a hot race. But we're going back to Cheltenham, baby, to a champ. <laughs> we're going back for champ, Dave. We're going to be screaming in again, his village again. So, in- be- so before you get too excited about him, like I said, bet fees five back on number one and no bet. Seven to two, champ, number one and no bet. So you haven't got to worry about the fact that he might not turn up in, a- in the race. So it's seven to two versus two to one classical dream. Just champ- got to worry about getting a bet three, three six five account now. <laughs> 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 so, you, so you two like you two are obviously keen on champs so that, the best thing to ask either of you like no one needs you to explain why champs got a chance I think everyone's just seen he's a he's a decent decent horse what did you um, what what do you genuinely think is the main danger obviously Florin Port uh, classical dream people talk about the tactics the last day I would just question and just say whether it just shows them both up as not being good enough the classical classical dream probably impressed me because he went so fast early when he took in that bit of a breather, I thought he stopped now, and then he went again. So I can see why he's the prize that he is. But Daryl, who who of the other horses in the race scares you? So I guess Classical Dream, Time Hill, Florin Porter. He's got one that worries you the most. Yeah, Classical Dream. I think he's very, very good. I think he's very, very good. I know he's it's not very good, Daryl. Yeah. Oh, you can just ta- just just watching that race at left side. He you got eight legs in the stair. How is he any good? Hey, he got, got eight, eight legs at the oh. start. How is he any good? There's no way. No, look, yeah, how is he any that. good? Right, calm down. I know he needs a couple of lengths, right, at the start, but I still think he's the best horse. No, he's not. Two. Yes, he is. He's a, he's no, a he's not. He Champ is. is the best horse. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, champion. Look, I'm not calm down, son. I'm just saying what. <laughs> calm what down, think, son. All right. <laughs> what I think is the biggest danger. What I think is the biggest danger. You old drunk. <laughs> of course, right, yes. So, so classical yeah. is the biggest danger for you, then, Dazzler. Yes, but champ wins it, mate. He, this is. I tell you what, I do hope they go for this because the way he tanked around that race to Ascot, mate, just absolutely tanked all over him. All over them, Dave. But they weren't. They were nothing. You know, he was. He was only arguing in front. Time will come out the side. He pulled out more. He is a proper stayer. I always thought this was a two mile hurdler. <laughs> I thought at one point this was going to be a champion hurdle. <laughs> oh God! But it just goes to show his ability, mate, to finish second in like a game spirit chase behind So Royal, who's a, who's a class act himself, and then go out and beat Time Hill like. Look, look very comfortably. Like I know people are going to look at the, the, the distance, the beaten distance stuff, but it, it was very, very comfortable. Um, and that hill is only going to help him again. Um, I just hope that uh, John Joe keeps the ride on him, John Joe O'Neill Jr., because I thought he gave him a blinding ride. I think he's such a good judge of pace. 
he, he just covered him up nicely, but he gave him enough room to see his hurdles. Uh, he knew when to ask him. He, he's just such a good rider, John Joe Neal Jr. And I, I hope he keeps the ride because I would much prefer him, on no offence to Aiden, I would much prefer him than Aiden. I really would. I think he's got a massive chance, champ. I think he's, I think this is, this is, this is his time now. He's not going to win a gold cup. He's too old. He's going to be too old. This is the this is the winnable race for him. Happy days. So Jamie, who of the other ones? So away from champ, because we know you both fancy champ quite strong in it. And you obviously don't rate classical dream as a danger. Who would be your biggest danger champ, do you think? Nobody. Oh, I, love, I love the confidence. See, the thing is, like, you two are making me feel like I want to absolutely nap Champ and just not sway away from him. But there's a little part of me with Champ. After that new one last year, I know it's different because he was going in a gold cup and he just looked like a different horse. Yeah. But he was so good in that newbie run over two yeah. miles. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, yeah. I think. I know, I know. But I, just, I think there may be, there could be just something no, that Champ, no, Champ goes was... off. Do you not think there could be something off him that goes off now? Like he needed, maybe he needs the big break. No, hold on. Would we, we make a point now for Colonial and Mustard over there, like <laughs> over there, right? All of a sudden, right? Colonial and Mustard, right? The thing is, right? My seven character agree that Champ is the best thing to slice bread. I'm really careful. You both did. No, listen, no, you do have a point, Dave. You, oh, no, you do have a point in terms of. He has got a phenomenal record fresh. Yeah. And um, I just hope they give him a, a nice, a nice long... And the fellow from Portsmouth says that Colonia Mustard is a one for three years. <laughs> <laughs> You're going on mute, Sandy Carroll.